Okay, so hopefully you're having fun with the uh, blues jam in the key of A. It's very commonly used. You'll use this all the time. And the key of A is a great key uh, for uh, a blues riff like this on the guitar because, uh, as you can see, you only have to kind of, you know, you start with A, you jump up one string, you got a D, you jump down a couple strings, you got an E. So it's all very uh, controlled environment. So uh, that works naturally. That's why you see a lot of people... Um, Oh, you'll notice a lot of people jamming in the, in the key of A on the guitar. The key of E is another one that's common. And actually, I'm putting together a lesson uh, on, on how you transpose this very riff into different keys, so you're not just limited to the key of A. So that'll be the next lesson after this. But what we're going to do on this lesson is <coughs> uh, we're going to expand on that blues riff. So um, what we've learned thus far is... Kind of walking up and down, so you're up, back down, up, back down, um, and this time we're going to uh, try a new variation on that, and we're going to introduce uh, two notes um, to that riff. So instead of going back down, we're going to play these two notes, and what that is is you're kind of simulating a bass part. So this is what it sounds like. Those two notes that I'm playing uh, when I'm in the A part is a C and a C sharp. And they're both played on the fifth string, uh, third and fourth fret. So C and C sharp. And so what, what you do is, that part is exactly the same as we've learned, but instead of going back down, now we're going to go, that's it, just two notes. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. I think you, you you see where I'm going with that. So that's kind of sounds like uh, a bass part. So if you think of the bass part being this. Now obviously we're going to take that exact same pattern and we're going to apply it to the D and to the E as well. So to apply that to the D, we're going to jump up a string and we're going to do the exact same rhythm. So this time you're playing um, on the fourth string, and you're playing the third and fourth fret, and those notes are uh, F and F sharp. So then we go back to the A. Now we're going to drop down into the E, which is uh, down here. And you can see that's exact same pattern, nothing has changed. So it's very it's very nice. You kinda of learn it once and you just kinda of move your hand and you can you can play that entire uh, uh, blues uh, rhythm. So on the E, we're gonna play the third and fourth fret again, but this time on the sixth string. And that's a G and a G sharp. So it's and then we go back to the D. Back to the A, back to the E, and there you have it. I think that um, that uh, between these three lessons on the uh, blues rhythm, uh, you know, if you can make sure you got the palm muting working for you, and uh, and you can play that riff. Obviously, you can play it fast or slow. It works really good in either tempo. You can play it. It almost works better, even slower, doesn't it? But you can, you know, it's up to you how you do that. And you can kind of experiment with that now that you sort of see where we're going with uh, adding notes to uh, a riff like that. You can add as many different variations to that, that blues riff as you can come up with. There's obviously no right answer. You can uh, create your own. So have fun with that one and keep practicing it until you get it down. Now in the next lesson we're going to go over... Uh, taking this same um, blues rhythm and transposing it to different keys.